Hi everyone, I will start today's demo by showing you the setup that we'll be using. I have two Panasonic Lumix cameras connected to my HD video switcher, my Roland V1 HD that you can see here in the foreground. There in the background, next to my uh, iMac, you can see my HD60S, my HDMI USB capture device by Elgato. You can also see my microphone, a road here, USB microphone, very nice. And I will focus on the screen of my iMac because for today's demo, I want to show you the interaction, the live interaction between a little device, which is amazing, the Stream Deck, and my iMac. So we will switch to a view which will show you both my computer and the Stream Deck. So the Stream Deck is this little device that you can see here with uh, three lines of five keys. You can assign any function, any shortcut, any direct access to a website uh, on the keys of the Stream Deck. And it's very easy to configure. You just open an application on your computer. I will show you the application on the screen of the computer right here. You can see that uh, the application is replicating uh, the UI of the Stream Deck or the Stream Deck is replicating the, the UI, uh, the layout of the application. You can have different profiles for different use cases. I will show you in a moment uh, the profile I'm using for uh, OBS to uh, control OBS from uh, the Stream Deck. It's very easy to uh, just uh, create a new uh, shortcut, you just drag and drop uh, a function into uh, the configuration tool and you can very easily modify the icon. So here at the bottom, for instance, you see I have a default icon, a rocket for a, a shortcut uh, to Dropbox. But I can go to my computer, choose a Dropbox icon, and voila, you have here uh, the Dropbox icon. And you can see the Dropbox icon, which is also on the Stream Deck, on the device itself there. I can remove, because I know obviously that it's Dropbox with the logo, I can remove the title, the text, and so it's very clean. So you can see Dropbox there at the bottom, my Google Drive. I have a direct access to two Facebook pages, so direct access to the URLs of these pages. On the first line, you will maybe recognize Elgato Game Capture, OBS, Photoshop, FL Studio, Gmail, Second Light, DaVinci Resolve, for instance. So I can directly go to DaVinci Resolve by uh, pressing the DaVinci Resolve button here on the second line. So it will open DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve from the dock. So it's very easy, very fast. Uh, it really optimizes uh, your, uh, your workflow on a daily basis. Very nice. Let's go to Photoshop. Well, I'm in Photoshop. And let's go back to OBS so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm back in OBS. So I told you that you can uh, also uh, control OBS natively using the Stream Deck. So you just have to change the configuration. So you see that it changed already on my Stream Deck. I will show you the configuration tool on the screen also. So on the first line, uh, I have access to a scene uh, with just the camera. Uh, I can also control uh, mute, unmute my microphone with the second key. The last key is a key uh, I'm using uh, to uh, start or stop a recording. I could also add a key to start or stop a live streaming. On the second line, you see a key that would trigger immediately an intro. And on the last line, a key that would trigger an outro. So it triggers uh, a movie. You can also uh, trigger a movie which will uh, play in a loop. Um, that's something very interesting. Uh, if you want to have a movie uh, playing, uh, playing in the background or a sound playing in the background. It can also be uh, a soundboard, so if you're doing a podcast and uh, you want to trigger sounds during your podcast, you can also use the Stream Deck. You can create uh, on the 15 keys folders to, uh, to other pages of the Stream Deck. So the first page can be just folders and then you, you press on a folder and you go uh, to another layer of 15 keys with different functions. That's an amazing tool which uh, costs at the moment around 140 pounds. I will leave a link uh, in the description below if you're interested in the Stream Deck. Uh, an amazing tool uh, to, uh, uh, to control your live streams, uh, to have direct access to your application. So it, it's really 
something that will optimize your uh, daily workflow. I really love uh, the Stream Deck. Thank you for your attention. If you like this video, hit the like button and uh, you can also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one, more tech and marketing tips. And I will conclude this demo by pressing on the outro button on the Stream Deck. Bye bye.